Okay. 719. Choose an appropriate closed system and draw a bar diagram representing the energy conversions and transfers that occur during each process of principles checkpoint 7.9. Okay, so go check out that checkpoint to make sure you get what this is about. So let's look at the energy conversions of a ball launching as the compressed spring it sits on expands. Okay, so compressed spring, ball, okay, and then it expands, explosive separation, the ball goes flying in the air, and the spring expands. Okay, so what are the energy conversions? Well, first of all, here is our system. Okay, closed system. No energy is transferred to or from the system. So there's our system. Okay, so this is what we need to do. Uh, let's draw these four bar diagrams. This is kinetic energy, potential energy, source energy, thermal energy. Okay, so so remember kinetic energy and potential energy, those are easy to understand. Source energy, that is energy due to gas, uh, a fuel in an engine. Chemical energy in your muscles, right? Anytime something is kind of burning or there's a chemical reaction to release energy, that's source energy, thermal energy, okay, is just simply... Um, temperature increasing. Okay, all right. So, what is happening here is we have high potential energy stored, okay, in the spring, and then the potential energy is released. So, I'm going to have to do this twice. Two, three, four. There's U, okay. So U goes down to zero, from there to zero, K goes up, because the, the kinetic energy is increased, but, uh, and source energy, there's nothing there, that's still zero, um, but the thermal energy, if we assume that there's friction due to air friction, resistance, then there is some thermal energy, okay? The the uh, the part the air is heated up and the and the ball is heated up okay so there is some thermal energy okay so thermal energy has increased kinetic energy has increased and the potential energy has decreased okay let's look at b a ball released from some height and falling to the ground ball released a ball released from some height and falling to the ground. Okay, so what have we got? We, if that is our system, again we've got potential energy, and the potential energy is decreasing, and the kinetic energy is increasing because it's speeding up. And again, if we assume air resistance, then uh, there is friction, and so the thermal energy of the ball increases. And actually, these will be identical. These will be identical. You'll have a high potential energy, it will go to zero. You'll have zero kinetic energy, it will go to a positive value. You'll have no change in your source energy and your thermal energy will increase slightly. So these two are identical in terms of their energy conversions. Then, um, C, a coasting bicycle slowing down. Okay, so let's just Let's just replace these back to original. Okay, so just imagine that that's a straight line, okay? Use your imagination. All right, so a coasting bicycle slowing down. So coasting means that there's already, uh, let's use black, right? There's some, uh, there's some kinetic energy in the bicycle, but it's slowing down. So the kinetic energy is being converted into... 
uh, so it's slowing down, so this goes down, but then the thermal energy needs to go up. Right? Because that's how it slows down, is via the brakes, via friction. So the thermal energy increases and the kinetic energy decreases. Alright? Okay. Next one. Next one. Let me just fix this quickly. Hope these videos are helping you. Okay. The next one is, the final one is a car accelerating on the highway. Okay. So the car is already moving. Okay. But then it speeds up. So actually, let me let me put this a bit lower. Well, it's fine. It speeds up. It goes even higher. Okay? So the kinetic energy increases. But where did it get that extra energy? It got it from source energy. There was source energy. The fuel, the fuel um, was ignited, exploded, and the source energy was converted into into kinetic energy okay so the source energy decreased but remember whenever source energy is converted into uh, mechanical energy some of it is converted also to thermal energy right because it heated up it heated up the engine as well so it increased it it provided more energy for to increase the kinetic energy but at the same time it heated up the engine okay so please make sure you know how to do these I think this is a good exercise okay cheers